Hello guys, welcome to the last video tutorial on um, or the last video on the project and I'm sure this is going to be the last video uh, so I just saw uh, an error here that in the email section or in the email input appears name available uh, so we have to change that so let's go to the code obviously uh, you will encounter or you will see some errors um, when you were using where is it as long as you were using this uh, code probably with uh, some users will encounter some errors I just try the code that um, I did before this project which is pretty much the same and it's all working very very good okay so this uh, project should be working uh, perfectly as well okay so the error is in here name available this is not name available is email available okay so uh, now what we still have to do is to create that dialog box in the jQuery so let's go to validation.php and up here I'm going to create here the first thing, th thing I have to do is um, let's type here container or let's go back to the index.html we will have to create a button in here inside a container and in here let me see okay in here let's create a div first ID equals the switcher div okay um, and let me see down here we will create an input input type equals button ID equals click form and value equals register and that's pretty much it let's save now let's go to the validation and here we will create we will grab that button click form click form ID yeah click form and let's type here click click function and curly braces so whenever I click the click form that button I will grab the container dot give it an attribute which is going to be a title and here I'm going to type registrate registration form dot dialog and the dialog will hold some options a width of 550 um, close on escape if you want to learn more about this dialog uh, UI widget you can go to my jQuery tutorials I have their uh, full tutorial about this this is going to be false uh, draggable 
I don't want to be draggable so false and resizable it's going to be false as well and show is going to be fade and of course another thing is model true and semicolon at the end and that's pretty much it so another thing you have to type in here is grab the container container and dot hide it okay so let's save that and see if it's all working it should be okay I don't see any errors so let's go refresh this now the only thing we should see it's a button and when I click it perfect okay this is check your errors this is working perfectly so this is the final um, the final uh, project or the final um, output that you will see of this project and I'm just gonna change a few little things give it a little more space in here so let me go in here index and let's just type here line break in here refresh register and that's a little bit better okay so now I can type Victor is not available this is available it's all working it's all working okay so um, now I'm going to show you how you can also uh, put the switcher the switcher of the jQuery UI to switch um, from uh, the default theme to other themes so the first thing you have to do is create the switcher div here you already have that and in here let's type script type equals and this has to be text text JavaScript and the CRC is going to be equal to a URL directly to the jQuery UI.com slash theme roller slash theme themes switcher tool. Okay and now we can close that and uh, close script jQuery.com theme roller theme switcher tool perfect so in your validation.js after hide container hide um, or at the beginning here let's type Let's grab the switcher ID and here let's type theme switcher and you have some more functions you can put in here if you want to go to jQueryUI.com and learn more about that. Let's save this. Let's go to the browser, refresh it. and um, there it is okay so if I click register this is the default deem okay which is called uh, uh, UI lightness there it is UI lightness let's click in this one UI darkness if I click register there it is okay pretty cool okay guys so this is it uh, we are finished with the project.
So you now have a very, very cool uh, registration form to apply it into your um, projects or your website. Okay, um, and of course you can still improve the code either in the PHP files or PHP scripts and um, you can also improve if you want to um, a little bit more the JavaScript code is not perfect okay and the PHP files are not perfect either okay so in the next course we'll talk about security and that's where I'm gonna show you how you can secure your uh, PHP scripts when you are um, inserting some information uh, values whatever into your MySQL database and avoid some hacking okay so see you guys in the next course and I hope you enjoyed this um, project and um, this little registration form very cool so see you guys later bye